Hola! <laughs> Hi YouTube, it's me, Beauty by Marie, and I'm coming to you with a tag video. Yes, you right there watching this video have been tagged by me. Well, unless you're not Latina. <laughs> um, I am going to do a Latina tag video, which I saw Baby Mama 1801, I believe her name is. Yeah, 1801. She did this video with her cousin, and I thought it was a pretty good, you know, video to get to know, you know, your, essentially your subscribers, and, um, or for them to get to know you. And, um, I'm gonna do this video, but I'm gonna elaborate on some things and not just ask basic, or answer the basic questions. So, first of all, um, a lot of these, oh, these are five, six questions. Some of these questions can apply to me because, um, I guess the Latina person who did this video classified Latinas as somebody, you know, who wasn't originally from here. And, um, I don't know about y'all, but I'm considered myself as Latina or a Latina and I'm from America, so... <laughs> You know, I guess each of us are our own person and we, you know, like to classify ourselves as ourselves, you know. We all classify each other as different things, but I like to classify, classify myself, classify, classify myself, <laughs> I like to classify myself as a Chicana, you know. I'm from America, you know, I'm my Mexican family. Or Mexican, but how do you say that? My father is Mexican. My mother is American. I'm Mexican American, <laughs> I guess. No, but um, I'm gonna do this tag. You know, the rambling. Okay, the first question is, what nationality are you? Um, I'm Mexican. Um, I'm born in America, like I said. So I already pretty much answered that question. When was the last time you visited your native country? I live here. My native country is America. But in Latina terms, the last time I visited Mexico was in the summer of 2010. Um, we went for your, a wedding. And yeah, I haven't visited then. I haven't visited since then because everything that's going on in Mexico, you know, you hear about it and stuff. But when it starts hitting home, you know, I live in the border land area like I live in southern New Mexico and you know it hits home because you see a lot of things on the news it it's just it's sad it's sad the things that happen so um hopefully we'll go in July where my family my dad was talking to us about them having a family reunion on his side so go visit them on that side um okay What's your favorite di what's your favorite dish? Dish. Hmm. Everything. <laughs> I'm on the seafood Mexican diet. No. Um I initially did this tag so that you guys, my twenty beautiful subscribers, can get to know me. Um, but um my favorite dish would be it was menudo for the longest time, but now that I'm getting older, just the texture, I just, I can't, I can't do it anymore. So, I would say, chile con carne, red chili with me, it's so good. Mm, with the rice on the side, or how I would say in my Latina way. Um, chile con carne con arroz. <laughs> um, do you speak Spanish? Um, Spanish... Growing up, we would speak it in my household a lot. Where I would, we would, th that was the language our parents communicated with us because they grew up with Spanish in their household. And um, here in the border land area, um, you know, Spanish is a very fluent language, you know, and um, they spoke it here in my household every day, but we would reply in English. So, you know, Spanish to us came easy to understand it, but speaking it was the other thing. 
I don't feel comfortable speaking Spanish because I feel like my Spanish is broken. So I kind of, I'm, I'm super hard on myself because I, I want to sound um, proficient in speaking and I, I just don't. So here's a little bit of my Spanish. Hola. Como están? <laughs> I'm making myself look really dumb. No, but I can talk Spanish. I can carry a conversation, you know, but um, pretty much Spanish, I guess it's mo moderate, I guess. It's yeah, moderate. Um, household items that describe your culture. Well, being a Latino, you know, the culture... You know, is stereotyped very much by having chanclas and, you know, um, what else? The, you know, the statues of the different saints and stuff. And, you know, some people feed into that stereotype. But, you know, the, the Latino culture is such a beautiful culture. And I'm not just saying that because I am Latina and stuff. But uh, it's just... <laughs> When I go to my native area or native land, like they ask, uh, when I go to Mexico, it's such a beautiful culture. You see the beautiful, like, cathedrals and stuff. And I'm Catholic. So, yeah, we have the Virgen de Guadalupe all over my house. We have, like, 80 garden gnomes. We have just, you know, the typical Mexican thing but the thing is like not a lot of latinos have yellow painted houses or pink painted houses and 48 cars and 82 people fitting in one car it's not like that well, i don't know about y'all i know in my family it's not okay <laughs> what part of your native country are you from my family is from Delicias in Chihuahua, in Mexico. Um, that's all I know because, um, like I said, my mom's side is from primarily from here. And if not, they were from Texas. So primarily, the only side that I know is from another foreign country is my father's side. And they are from Mexico, which is Delicias, which is so beautiful. I really hope to go visit there soon because I miss. Te extraño mucho, mi primos y mi tías y todos que están en México. Miss you guys. And um, what else? What is your favorite Mexican candy? Los mazapanes. That's mine. That was a question I added on there because I wanted you, my subscribers, to get to know me. And um. I'm proud to be a Latina, you know. I get stereotyped a lot, and most Latinas do, you know, for being at home, in the kitchen, having 30 kids by the age of 21. And I try to fight those stereotypes, you know, and I promised myself I was going to graduate college, you know, get a good job, um, not become one of those statistics. And so far, knock on wood. I have, um, I am 25 years old, I have no kids, I'm a year and a half away from getting my bachelor's, and which I'm going to go for my master's soon, and, you know, I beat all those stereotypes, so don't stereotype everybody, or Latinas. Um, if you guys want to know more about me, go ahead and ask me more questions down below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Adios, YouTube.